In this part, we'll be demonstrating Stellar Mate by connecting to a few devices. These include Canon DSLR camera, RoboFocus, and Orion Cirrus equatorial mount. The camera and focuser will be connected to Stellar Mate via USB. On the other hand, the mount is connected to a Bluetooth adapter, which we will use to pair with the Stellar Mate later on. Let's first download the Stellar Mate app. Here, I have a Galaxy tablet and so on download the app from Google Play Store. Before starting the app, make sure your Wi-Fi is on. After the app is started, click Add, then click Auto Detect. The app will now scan for nearby StellarMate gadgets. This process can take from 30 seconds up to 2 minutes. Once Stellar Mate is discovered, it is added to My Mates tab on the main app screen. From there, you can access and control all your gadgets. Under each menu, you can change the gadget settings, including its name and IP address. You can also join it to a Wi Fi network and access Stellar Mate Web Manager and Web Viewer as well. Let's explore Stellar Mate Web Manager, which is the primary tool to start and stop device drivers. For your equipment. Please note that you are not required to use the Stellar Mate Web Manager if you use ECOS on your desktop or laptop computer, since ECOS handles startup and shutdown of the required drivers transparently for you. But let's suppose that you want to connect another application, such as KStars Lite or Sky Safari, to Stellar Mate. In this case, you need to start the required drivers directly from the Web Manager. By default, the Web Manager is shipped with a sample simulator's profile. Each profile contains a list of equipment for a particular setup. The simulator profile includes drivers for telescope, CCD, and focuser simulators, and can be quite handy for testing various scenarios. Let's start by creating a profile for our demo equipment. After you specify the profile name, click the plus icon and now it is time to select our drivers. You can type your driver name here to search for it. We will be using EQMod driver for the mount. And let's find now Canon driver and finally our Robo Focus driver. Please recall that the mount is connected to a Bluetooth adapter. And before we can communicate with the mount, we need to pair it with StellarMate. To perform the pairing, we need direct access to the StellarMate desktop. To access the desktop, we will use the web-based VNC viewer. Go back to StellarMate app and select VNC viewer from the menu. A browser window is now opened. Simply press connect and when prompted for a password, enter the default password smate. You can also use any VNC viewer on your desktop to access Telermate desktop at any time. To pair the EQ mode adapter, click on the Bluetooth icon in the top bar. Click search to scan for device and wait until your device shows up. Click the key icon to pair with a device. And here I am being asked for a passcode, which is 1234 for this particular adapter. Click the star icon to make your device trusted. And since we need to access Bluetooth via a port, right click and select connect to serial port. You can see from the web viewer you have a few icons on the left side which enable you to use the keyboard or mouse and to enable which kind of gestures you want to use when controlling Stellar Mate desktop remotely.
Now the Bluetooth device is mapped to our Ofcom Zero port, which is the port we will be connecting to. Now we are ready to connect to our devices. Go back to Stellar Mate Web Manager and start ND Server. ND Server is the central hub for all communications. All the client applications such as ECOS, KSARS Lite, Bix Insight, and so on communicate to your devices via ND Server. After server established, you can use any compatible application to connect to Stellar Mate. Let's use KSTARS Lite on Android to connect to Stellar Mate now. Before we proceed, let's talk about Stellar Mate hostname, since we need to connect to Stellar Mate either via its hostname or IP address. You will note that Stellar Mate name is followed by an underscore and then six alphanumerical characters. These are randomly generated when you first power up your device. To obtain the hostname, simply remove the underscore and append that local. So in our case, the hostname is as following. We can also connect to StellarMate from its IP address. Since we are now connected directly to StellarMate hotspot, we can see its IP address is 10.250.250.1. So we will use this IP address to connect to it from KSTARS Lite. We now have our profile devices established. Let's go to EQ mode driver and then select the connection tab. Remember that we paired Bluetooth adapter to our Ofcom Zero serial port. So let's select this port from the list at the bottom and then establish the connection. Many controls are now established to allow us to control the mount. Go to the motion control tab to move the mount in any direction and to change slew speeds. If you go back to Kaser's light sky map, you will see the EQ mod telescope icon. When you select any object, you will have a pop-up menu from which you can command a slew or a sync. Back to the ND control panel, let's connect to the DSLR camera. Now we will take a one second preview from the camera and wait until it is uploaded. Once an image is captured, you can save it on your device or elsewhere. For more powerful sequence capture capabilities, please use ECOS. This concludes part 2 of the Stellar Mate tutorial series.